Here with Shereen Lightborn of the women's basketball team after two knee surgeries the last couple seasons. How are you, Shereen? I'm fine. How are you? Thank you for your time, first and foremost. And so first off, how frustrating was it for you the last couple of years not being on the court with your team, just watching from the sidelines? Uh, it was definitely frustrating. Definitely learn a lot about yourself. And, um, you know, it's like you're in the bubble. I'm in the bubble watching people do something that I want to do, which is just so close to it, but you've... I just physically couldn't do it, but uh, it made me stronger, so. Oh, was it was even more frustrating considering that you were playing a good amount your freshman year, were the Ryder MVP your sophomore year, and were starting to come into your own as a player for this team? Yeah, it was really frustrating because that summer um, I, I worked so hard and I developed my game and I was going to take it to the next level, and, you know, um, then I got hurt. So it's kind of like really just building to something and then, you know, Something, I get hurt again, but it happened twice in a row. So, like I said before, it just really just um, makes me stronger and, you know, just shows a lot about my commitment and determination. Just want to, you know, end on a good note. Now, these weren't your first two knee injuries. You had one in your high, high school years? I did, unfortunately. Yeah, junior year of, of uh, high school. Take us through sort of a timeline. Which ACLs were they uh, from your high school? Day, uh, your junior year and your senior year. Okay, so junior year was uh, 07, 08. So I tore my left ACL during a high school game uh, in January. Got sur surgery in February, so I was out for that whole summer, which is a really um, was, was was a really important recruiting summer for me. You know, because my school is pretty small, so all my uh, looks was coming from AAU. So yeah. You know, I'm, and I'm here at Ryder, and I got hurt um, my sophomore year summer, and then again last summer. Not really good to dates. So, um, do you believe that uh, you play the game in a way that maybe gets you injured? Are you maybe a little too aggressive at times on the court, or were they sort of just bad luck injuries, just sort of a bad way of landing here, or just a bad step you took when running? Well, uh, physically, I have very flat feet. Um, my hip to knee ratio was a little off. Um, it's more prevalent in girls anyway, so I have a lot going against me considering my feet are so flat, so it messes up the, the angle and the balance. But, you know, it's just have, it's, it's, like I said, a lot of, a lot of girls tear ACL. I mean, I, I am unlucky to, for it to happen to me three times, but I really can't say, you know, it's because I'm super aggressive or, you know, something like that, just all muscle and muscle memory and having good form. A lot of things, times we don't really work on, like jump stops correctly, but, you know, something we should focus on. Now, what about the rehab process? How grueling was that sort of going through just <coughs> sort of the last couple of years? Oh, uh, just very tedious and, you know, I just remember it just very tedious. I was sad sometimes, but I, I of course, I try to feel bad for myself, but, um, what kept me going, was kept me sane, was just to really think of uh, the goal that I was trying to um, achieve. So just kept me going and to know that, you know, eventually one day, um, God willing, I'll be able to play. And, and here I am, even after two times in a row. Now, how supportive have your uh, teammates been throughout this and the coaches as well? Just oh, my teammates have been great at able to keep my, um, my mood up. I mean, I, I'm really a, a goofy person, but like, I really do appreciate them. Um, my coaches, they support me as well. And you know, my parents, especially, I speak to them every day. They always have faith in me, so help me have faith in myself. Now talk about coming to this team this year with the staff that you have coming off a good season they had compared to your freshman and sophomore year when they were struggling. How much better do you feel coming into a situation like this versus uh, coming in your freshman, sophomore year when the team was sort of struggling at the time? I'm very excited. I learned so much my freshman and sophomore year. I do appreciate those years, of course. Um, of course, it's a really different team compared to those years, but it's just a different game. I'm really excited. I'm glad that um, I have the opportunity to play uh, at this level. Talk about the transformation you've seen in this program, sort of watching from the sidelines from then until now. Um, watching from the sidelines, you know, I had to learn I learned a lot by myself. Um, had to work on myself emotionally, mentally, you know, physically. You learn a little out of little things about the game of basketball. So I feel like I've just matured 
um, as a person on and off the court. So I just use these uh, injuries as try to find some positive, um, positive from them. Now I was reading into it and obviously freshman, sophomore year, well actually your sophomore year, you, you played with Manish and Alicia. And Alicia. Um, they're the only ones on this roster that you've actually played with, which is kind of crazy thinking that you've missed all this time and the team has really significantly changed. How, not tough, but how much of an adjustment is that sort of getting uh, acquainted with the, all these teammates just on the court and practice? It's really interesting because, you know, I've been here forever basically and I've seen, you know, freshmen come in and them, they develop. And like you said, only Manisha and Alicia play with me. And I, I believe like I'm kind of a different player compared to. So I appreciate, you know, they I didn't have any problems. They embraced me. I fit well in the system. And it's, it's a difference from watching someone play and actually playing with them. So it's just getting better every year, every, every practice, you know, improving. Getting back in the game shape, uh, what do you feel like your progress is on that? Obviously, you're practicing now. You've practiced the most probably leading up for in the last couple of years. So what would you say your game shape is coming back from these injuries? Uh, my game shape can be better. It's getting better. Um, that's, one of the, that's one of the things I, I struggle with healthy. Um, so, <clears throat> but like I said, it's, you know, it's, um, I just have to take one day at a time and, and make short goals for myself because otherwise I'll be frustrated. So I have to get in better game shape and I have to find a good regimen so I'm warm on the while I'm sitting on the bench, while I'm practicing, and just overall, just everything. In terms of treatment, what do you do during practice, uh, during uh, times when you're not practicing or on the court to keep these knees in shape? I just try to like jump around. Sometimes if I'm on the court, on the side, I, I do some, some jogs, some sprints, or I might go on the bike, or just do more frequent subs. Um, as far as sitting out, if we're uh, not as fortunate to have a a stationary bike at the away game, I'll just have to somehow find some way. I, I'm just really, really trying to get back into game flow and really trying to find out what works best for me. But I'm trying new things. Like I have these high socks on today and some uh, calf sleeves and I might try some tights and just different things. But it's, it's coming along. Yeah, I was going to ask you, wearing those socks, and I noticed that uh, the pads up there go up to your knees. Any are you planning on wearing those throughout the season? Or? Well, they'll definitely, I'll definitely wear knee pads. Uh, I'm trying to debate whether or not I want to wear the high socks with the, with the sleeves and the knee pads or I want to wear the full pants with the knee pads or, you know, but the knee pads are definitely uh, imperative, definitely important. So I'm just trying to figure out my regimen. Uh, now, what are your expectations going into the season for, obviously for yourself, but for the team as well, just getting yourself meshed with the team just in terms of playing a full season? Um, as far as uh, myself, I just want to obviously stay healthy this whole season and um, do whatever I can to help the team um, fit in the system and the team overall goal. We're trying to, we say it every day after practice, we're trying to win a banner. And we're competing for a championship, so that's our main focus, working towards that. Now the official question, you're ready to go for the start of the season? I am ready to go, yes. Very excited. After the interview, head coach Lynn Milligan had some wise words about the road to recovery. Along with trying to play the sport again, Lightborn will have to adjust to the roster. Of all 14 Bronx on the team, she's only played on the court with two of them in her entire career. So now it's really the challenging part is now with her being back because she's been here for, you know, this is her fifth season and she's only played with my niece and Lisi a little bit. She really hasn't had a chance to play with any of these kids. So she's really trying to find her way, um, not only for herself and her timing back on the court, but learning about her teammates. It would have been easy for Lightborn to just quit basketball after all of her injuries, but the team admires that she didn't give up on the sport when the odds were against her. I think they really respect uh, the work that she put in. I think they respect how much she loves the game, that she wanted to do it again. You know, if, if Shereen had come to me last year and said, Coach, you know what, I, this is my third one. I don't think I can do this again. Um, I would have been fine with that um, because it, it, it's a pretty tough thing to go through once. But to, to go through it three times and watch someone go through that, it, it's tough. So I think her love of the game and, and her love for Ryder and for our program has really helped her through. But I think that's a good um, indication of, you know, how Shereen feels about this place and her teammates and her program that she wants to do whatever she can to be out there and help us win. 
In order to address the recurring issue of ACL tears, Milligan reads a lot about how to prevent the injury. At the same time, though, she realizes that sometimes it may end up happening anyway. The more and more you read about ACLs, and you know, I read about them all the time because it's, um, you know, it, they're so common. Um, so you want to learn as much as you can about them. Obviously, everything that we do in the weight room, everything we do, even with our pre-game, our pre-practice warm-ups, is geared towards ACL prevention. How we land, how we jump, how we pivot. Um, it's a focal point for us, you know, as coaches. Um, it's a focal point for our strength coach as coaches that we know the muscles that we need to strengthen. But when push comes to shove, the ACL a lot of times is a fluke. It's how you're built. Um, it's your cue angles. It's all those, you know, medical terms that go into things that make um, certain kids more susceptible than others. Lightborn has not missed any practice time since September. Therefore, Milligan has no problem pushing her as hard as everyone else in order to get the maximum effort. As soon as you're tentative or cautious on the court, that's when you're going to get hurt. So when Shireen's between the lines, I have to assume that she's 100% ready to go because that's what her teammates have to assume. So she can't take it easy on the court. She can't not do things, you know, at her highest strength because on game day, it can't be different. What she does on the court is what she has to do on game day in order for her teammates to get used to playing with her. A benefit of coming back to the team for one more season is that she has a team that's far improved now from what it was a couple of years back. The Ryder Bronx were 5-25 and in the 2010-11 season. Last season, they were 15 and 15. It's a completely different team than the last time Shireen played. There's no doubt about that. Um, it helps, yeah, because Shireen doesn't have to. She's. I don't expect her to play 30 minutes and score 15 points a game. You know that that's not Shireen anymore, and that's fine because of the team that we've built. Um, we're able to have her come in and play a really great role for us. Overall, Milligan applauds the perseverance that Lightborn has shown throughout her career. She responded really well. You know, she knew what she was in for. She knew the fight that was ahead of her. Uh, I think she's done a phenomenal job of getting herself back to be healthy and, and having a chance to play again.